In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can color your line art um, without messing up your line art. Um, my son always asks me after he scans in his pictures how he can put some color underneath his line art um, without actually having to go in and delete all of this white color so that he'll have transparent pencils uh, or pixels to work with so that he can color on it. So I'm going to show you a really quick technique that will allow you to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your background layer and click it and drag it down to the new layer icon and what that's going to do is create a duplicate. On the original background layer uh, what we can do is turn this off right now. We're going to make sure that this background layer is selected and then we're going to click on the new layer icon once again and we'll have a layer underneath our background copy. Now I want to show you what happens if I try to color directly on this background copy. What happens is I actually, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on. I'm actually covering up the pixels or the pencils as opposed to coloring over them. All right, And that's not the effect that I'm going for. So I'm going to back up a couple steps. And now I'm going to try to color on this background layer and let's see what happens. You don't actually see anything happening because there's a white background on top of the color la layer so you're not going to be able to see it unless you turn off the background layer. All right. So what we'll do to fix that is we'll click on the original background copy and then we'll change the layer mode from normal to multiply. And now what that does when I select that layer underneath the background copy, I can paint in and as you can see, I can see the color and I can see the line art and it's showing up underneath that white color. This gives me another way of having some more flexibility for editing my colors because I'm just laying in a flat color right now and later on what I can do is add a couple more layers one for light, lighting <clears throat> and another one for shading so this is a really flexible means of adding color and tone to your images and um, like I said I'm making this video because my son always forgets how to do this technique so I'm just gonna uh, not only uh, tell him to go check out this YouTube video but you know I figured it'd be helpful for some other people as well so I decided to put this up alright um, hopefully this technique will uh, work just as well for you as it has for me uh, please don't hesitate to leave any questions comments or concerns about the process uh, thanks for viewing and I'll see you next time